Hello, my name is Matt Puckett. This is Critical Thinking and Philosophy, PH 1900, short video number five. Um, today we will be discussing chapters nine through 11 of Neil Postman's Amusing Ourself to Death. Um, in these chapters, he focuses a lot on how television as a medium of entertainment is incapable of encouraging serious thought or discussion on an issue based on its very medium. He specifically focuses on the issues of religion, politics, and education, and how television has negatively affected that. For instance, in terms of education, he spoke heavily about programs such as Sesame Street, which seek to use television as a medium for education. And while there is a strong argument to be made that the programs such as Sesame Street do have educational material in them, at the end of the day, Postman argues they are just merely entertaining rather than educating. And the result is that the students may walk away from it knowing a little bit of information, but they are, they are in one way being trained rather to learn by entertainment only rather than sitting in a classroom and listening to a lecture. And no amount of information that's given via television can equal classroom learning um, because by definition, television is short, and it is very to the point, does not encourage, does not do well with discussion or exposition. And um, so unfortunately, even well-meaning attempts to educate via the medium of television usually come up short because they box themselves into those limits. Politics is another area that television has negatively impacted. Whereas when you look at issues or historical events such as the Lincoln-Douglas debates that Postman refers back to, which were hour-long, multi-day debates that had a lot of communication, a lot of talking and discussion going on, now politics through television has been reduced to 15 second or 30 second promos via television which are very image heavy and focus more on um, creating an emotional feeling rather than stirring logical thought. Um, for instance, we are in just coming out of an election year in 2020. The majority of um, commercials that have been shown for any particular candidate do not really go into, very rarely do they go into um, intense discussion over policies and what the candidate would propose and what um, how a candidate's administration would carry out domestic agenda. Rather, they focus mostly on creating fear in regards to the other candidate or making the candidate that they are promoting look like a very likable, very good person. I just today I had watched a um, commercial for a Senate race here in the state of Georgia, which in the few seconds that it was, rather than giving a rather than giving any sort of thought stimulating views on what this particular candidate would stand for, it merely focused on bits and sound bites that sought to portray the other candidate in fearsome and scary lights. Um, so, unfortunately, we can just look around us in the world of politics and see how this, how TV has negatively affected it. When you watch the presidential debates, it's no longer about ideas. It's about candidates trying to get those sharp gotcha moments or sound bites in that they can replay ad nauseum on the radio the next morning rather than laying out a well thought out well defined policy position candidates focus on insults and quick witty attacks against their opponents um postman 
focus it. Um, one of the things that is the foundation of this book is that Postman is, of course, discussing Brave New World by Huxley and proposing that he, rather than Orwell, had a more accurate description of the dangers that American society is going to face. In, Brave, in um, 1984 by Orwell, you have a oppressive government which controls thought and information, whereas in Brave New World... There is no need for that because the culture is so focused on being entertained and so focused on um, just amusement that they really just don't even care that they have basically enslaved themselves to entertainment and amusement. And I think that that is very good where that is a very... I think it's not too far to say that while we, of course, are not nowhere near the dystopia that is described in Brave New World, there is a very unhealthy need for amusement and entertainment by American society today. Um, TV is just ingested so much, and um, school is becoming more entertainment heavy, and as I was discussing, politics is becoming basically just a show, Everything has to have an entertainment value, and one of the negative results of being a TV and a visual-focused society is that we lose a lot of the ability to discuss and um, logically process issues and questions. Reg regarding J.P. Moreland's um, talking about the empty self, which is a person who basically gives no thought, has no profound overview of life, I think that this is a danger that will ultimately have very negative results for our country. And as far as what the church needs to do to um, deal with that, I think great focus needs to be placed on families who can raise their children with very good guidelines as to how television can be used. Because while television in and of itself is not an evil thing, it can easily get out of hand. So parents can focus on raising their children with more emphasis placed on reading, on keeping TV at a limit as to how much they are ingested and stimulating and focusing on thought, developing thought in their children.